everybody, my name is Katya Shipchoka. Welcome back to Miss Gets What. Today we are going to talk about Life is Strange. And why? Because <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Life is Strange. And we're going to be talking about how Life is Strange can be life-changing for certain people. But also how Life is Strange talks about really strong topics that some people don't want to talk about, don't even want to touch with a 10-foot pole. So as you guys know, I played Life is Strange on this channel and it was a wonderful experience. It was a tear-filled, crying, hysterically laughing, emotional experience that I will never forget and I always say people should play Life is Strange at least once in their lifetime because it's something that especially teens and young adults should really play. It's a game that's not just a game, it's a masterpiece, it's a work of art, and it's also an experience. There's a lot of diverse topics that Life is Strange does talk about and one of them is the LGBT community. As you guys know there's a lot of stories out there, there's a lot of games out there, there's a lot of like manga and comics, there's everything out there that sometimes they hint too much about the characters being gay, lesbian, bi, etc, etc. And it's something that people need to work on as creators. Now, nobody should ever just say like, oh my gosh, like give the extreme to a character. Like, oh gosh, they're gay. They're gonna be the most extreme type of gay there is because there's no such thing as that. And the way that Life is Strange does it is perfect. The characters may be gay, the characters may not be gay. And that's how real life is. These characters really show us that how creators should really learn from. Because if you're writing about someone who is gay, if you're writing about someone who is bi, you really need to do your research. And Life is Strange did that perfectly. Life Life is Strange opens doors for these creators saying like, okay, Chloe may be a lesbian, but she goes through real life problems. She has feelings. She has a heart. She has likes. She has dislikes. She, she hates certain people. She cries. She has feelings. And learning from this game, to be able to experience that with you guys, it shows me that as a creator myself, it shows me that we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to do to really show people that these characters should be like real people. They shouldn't just be cliche type characters that we see in a lot of movies, that we see in a ton of books, that we see in comics and manga. As generations go on, we will do this work. We will be able to do it because of games like Life is Strange. Life is Strange sets so many new boundaries and represents so much. So going, so going back to Chloe's character, now we also know that Life is Strange talks about a ton of mental illness problems. Not only Chloe, but you got Kate Marsh, who is suicidal. We got Nathan Prescott, who has so many problems, I can't even talk about it because I will cry. We have Chloe, who definitely suffers from some sort of PTSD. We have the insecurity that is Max and also Victoria. We have Max who's literally trying to find herself, who suffers from a lot of, you could see that she probably suffers from depression and anxiety. And you, all these characters, all these characters are like real people to us as not only the fans, but if you're a creator yourself, you're someone who can really take these characters and feel, use them as an example. Use them as example for your own work and see that this is what the writers of Life is Strange did. They constructed these characters to be beautifully put. They put them in a way that is so simplistic, but also a way that is so relatable that you can see, you see yourself in them. You cheer for these characters. You cry for them when they are sad. But especially with Life is Strange, not only does it cover the LGBT problems that there are out there, not only does it talk about mental health and also how people can get that mental health, but it shows us that there are people out there like that and those people deserve to be heard. Everybody in life deserves to be heard. No matter what kind of life they live, no matter if they're living a strange life out there, they deserve to be heard. And that's a message that Life is Strange really does like to come across. If you played this game, not only will your life be changed, but it'll open your eyes. It'll show you that no matter who you are out there, no matter who is sad or who is like feeling that they're lost, they have a right to speak up and they have a right to be heard. You deserve a place in the world and you deserve to be safe. And that's one of the messages that I really did come across in Life is Strange because so many times this happens and so many times people are left behind. People really just need help. Everyone needs somebody in life. Everyone deserves a shoulder they can cry on. Everyone deserves a friend they can vent to. And if they don't have that, there's so much that goes on in this life that it's not just a strange life, it's a depressing life, it's a cruel life, it's a life that people feel like they shouldn't be a part of, and that's sad, that's not right. And 
Life is Strange is a game that shows us that there needs to be more books and there needs to be more movies and there needs to be more games. There needs to be more content in general, more media in general that gives this message that is not just, it's not a negative message. It's a message that is saying that there are people out there who have these problems and they deserve to be heard. These people who play the game, they finally feel like they found something that they can relate to and that's beautiful. That is something like every type of diversity that is out there is beautiful because you want to find re relatable characters. You want to find a plot that you can live in, that you could feel that you are a part of and you feel like you belong. So if you haven't played Life is Strange yet, I really recommend it. It'll change your life, but it'll open your eyes. It sure as hell opened my eyes to all a lot of these problems that I haven't even known about before. It hella opened my eyes. That's what it did. Wow, it says it hella opened my eyes. Anyway, guys, I want to know what you think about Life is Strange. Do you love it? Do you feel like there should be different versions of Life is Strange? What do you think about anything in the future of Life is Strange? And of course, if you are having a hard time, if you feel like you are sad or you're depressed or you feel like you're not safe anywhere, please join the Life is Strange community. Go on there, talk to these amazing, wonderful people who will support you. And I'm also here for you if you ever need somebody to vent to, to talk to, anything. Please, don't feel, don't hesitate to reach out. My DM box on Twitter is always open for you guys to vent to me. And also on the YouTube comments. If you want a friend, this community is a positive community. Don't ever feel, don't ever feel like threatened or afraid to leave a comment. Because if you are having a hard time, there will be a miscat there to help you through this. Because I believe just as strongly as Life is Strange believes that everyone deserves a place in this world. And everyone deserves to really be heard. Because it's hard when you're not. And it's something that really needs to be changed in this world because a lot of people aren't heard. And that sure as hell is a shame. Anyway, guys, I hope you have an amazing day. And as always, Miss Cats, until the next video, embrace your inner fangirl and your inner fanboy every single day.